Judy, it's not a well-known fact, but the IRS does annual audits of the president's and vice president's tax returns. These audits are supposed to be protected from politics. But now, a whistleblower has come forward alleging that at least one political appointee at Treasury interfered in that process. President Trump has long refused to release any tax returns, and Vice President Pence has also not released any of his recent tax returns. Jeff Stein is part of the Washington Post team that broke this story, and he joins me now. Uh, Jeff, welcome back to the News Hour. As best we know, can you tell us what is it that this whistleblower is alleging happened? We actually first became aware of this whistleblower complaint um, back over the summer. Uh, when as part of his lawsuit against the Trump administration seeking President Trump's tax returns, uh, the House Democrat who's leading that push disclosed that he'd received information that suggested uh, improper interference related to the, to, uh, the president or the vice president's tax returns. Um, what we've learned uh, recently and what we published yesterday is that that complaint comes from a senior IRS, uh, a career IRS official uh, and names uh, at least one Treasury official as being implicated in potential interference with the president's or vice president's uh, audit of their, of their returns. I think it's, it's really clear, and we try to stress in the story, and I'll try to stress here, that we do not know what kind of interference this refers to. Is it someone calling and saying, um, stand down, don't go too hard on the president and his audit or his return? We have no proof of that right now. This could be as simple as an informational call to say, hey, what's the deal with the president or vice president's audit? Um, that said, even that le level of, of communication between political officials at the Treasury Department and career staff at the IRS, who are supposed to be completely walled off from um, political uh, considerations, are, according to the former IRS commissioners I've spoken to, according to legal experts, that could be seen as extremely unusual and potentially dangerous to the integrity of the audit process, which um, has gotten so much attention recently. Has the Treasury Department responded to this? Officially, no. The Treasury Dep Department spokesperson could not comment uh, to us. However, we've spoken to administration officials who tried downplaying uh, the complaint and said that it was based on secondhand information and hearsay. You spoke to the whistleblower, him or herself, and it's obvious this is coming forward in the midst of these accusations that the president and his supporters have made about the other whistleblower with regards to Ukraine, alleging that that whistleblower and, and his or her sources are spies or might have committed treason. Did this whistleblower express to you some concern about coming forward in this environment? Yes, and, and that was actually quite striking. He did comment on record to us to say, you know, in this political atmosphere, there's been attacks on whistleblowers, and he said that people who have been silent about these uh, attacks need no better and should stand up, and, and that this, you know, will, could discourage or deter people who see wrongdoing in the government from speaking out and identifying it and could pose a serious, serious harm and, and serious challenge to the ability of whistleblowers to do that. All right, Jeff Stein of The Washington Post, thank you very much. Okay.